there, I'm Claire Jedrick, I'm a TV presenter as well as a business owner, I'm an athlete and a mother of two and today with me is my podiatrist Elliot Yeldham who has been taking excellent care of my feet for the last couple of weeks now. Thank you Claire for the introduction. Yes, my name is Elliot <laughs> and I'm one of the podiatrists here at East Coast Podiatry in Singapore. Like Claire, many of my patients I see lead highly active lifestyles. Highly active people typically have less issues because they are stronger but Based on my experience, uh, these people also tend to brush their injuries aside due to their busy lifestyles. And because they do not take care of the injury, they often do not realize the extent of the injury until it is chronic. Well, um, funny story. 10 years ago, I rolled my ankle on a treadmill. And then five years after that, I rolled it again, second time, coming out of club, walking down the staircase with my high heels on. And as a typical young person, I didn't do anything about it because I just didn't feel anything the next day and I carried on walking with it. So this is an uncommon clear. Uh, it's quite typical that my patients uh, do not rest or seek treatment after their ankle injury. Uh, like yourself, many of my patients uh, continue to re-injure their ankle and continue to walk on the ankle thinking the pain will go away by itself. Now, months and even years later, they come to see me wondering why their ankle still hurts. Uh, yes, well, it sounds like you're talking about me again because unfortunately I rolled my ankle again in tennis and it was really silly. Um, I basically just did a sidestep. It was such a basic movement. And I do believe, if memory serves me right, that it's the same ankle. However, due to this like mummy lifestyle that I have of just running after my kids, as well as working full time and uh, doing my training and sports, I decided to have the very mature decision to finally sort this out and that's why I came to see you. And it's a very mature decision indeed, Claire. So Claire came to see me because she was experiencing sporadic pains and aches in the foot uh, when performing certain movements and chasing after your children. And it was only for a short period of time before the pain was present. Yeah, that's right. And actually this time around, um, I didn't have any pain the last two times um, that I rolled it, but this time there was quite a lot of pain. And I was actually wondering, um, perhaps after my second kid, was it possible that I have more injuries because of pregnancy and I'm more prone to ankle as well as uh, foot injuries? With pregnancy, uh, one of the side effects is loosening of the ligaments. Now, if you've um, had one or two kids, your ligaments are going to be very loose. Throw an old ankle sprain into the mix, it just means that you're going to be even more prone to spraining your ankle going forward. So yes, it is linked. Well, I like to think that um, I've made a smart decision this time and just sort it out once for all with a podiatrist. Um, I really want to know why it keeps reoccurring, like the injury. I mean, it's my third time, it's kind of crazy. and and how can I prevent it? And really, is there any quick and effective way to just get rid of the pain? Is it even possible? Mm, so it is. So when Claire came to see me, we used diagnostic ultrasound to determine how bad the severity of the injury to the ankle. From there, I deemed that you were actually a perfect candidate for the non-invasive treatment called Shockwave, which is designed to heal an old injury. How is it actually helping me to recover. Yeah, so with Shockwave, I agree, it looks like complete bonkers, it looks like voodoo, but it's a very sophisticated piece of technology that's used uh, around the world. It's used in hospitals for kidney stones. Now, the one that we have is a lower intensity, and the way it works is it restarts the old injury to try and help heal itself. So as I said to you before, chronic injuries are very hard to heal because your body doesn't sort of see it as a necessity anymore. Shockwave goes in, triggers the brain to realise that actually this is an injury that needs to heal. It sends all this goodness down to the area and then that's when you start to feel that pain reduction. Okay, that's interesting. So what you're actually saying is that the um, natural healing capabilities of the body is insufficient. Does that make sense? Yes, it is correct to a certain degree. Um, if we use the foot and ankle as an example, the reason why they're very hard to heal on their own is because you're always up and moving about. Even walking to the fridge, chasing after your kids, those delicate fibres that the body's laying down, that foundation being torn, and as it grows back it becomes scarred, so thickened, and that's why it's very painful. So theoretically, theoretically, if I didn't walk around on my foot for like six weeks, it would recover? Correct. So, yes, if you were to do nothing, sit in bed for six weeks, have your husband come and do everything, and I'll write a prescription for you, you can hand it to him so he knows <laughs> that I've told you to do that, you would get better 100%.
that's not possible for me. You know, I'm running around every day. I play my sports, so I can't live without my 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 working out and doing my work and my kids. Um, so I mean, what, what am I supposed to do? You're not the only one. There are loads of patients that lead very highly active lifestyles. You know, they're doing Tough Mudder, Ironman, MMA, one championship, running, GTA. They're doing everything, right? Um, so what we have to do is when they come and see me, we do an assessment, we try and find a medium where we reduce the activities only slightly and then we put the treatment in place to try and get them better. Right. Um, you also designed these insoles for me and that was actually part of the treatment. Um, what do these insoles actually do for me mm. and for other people out there? Yeah, so again, like the shockwave, looks like madness. It really does. But there is some science behind the madness. So with insoles, the idea of them is to stabilize your foot. So number one, prevent you from spraining your ankles going forward. And number two is redistribute the pressure. So when we did the assessment, when I did the assessment for Claire, you actually place a lot more pressure on the longer side. Um, and as such, with the insole, we try to address that which will ultimately take pressure off your knees, your hips, and actually your spine as well. And you told me actually at that time that it might take me a week to get used to wearing those shoes. And it took me like three days because I wore them nonstop in whatever I did. It's funny because I didn't feel them at all after those three, four days. I actually felt quite a lot of relief because I have like chronic pain all the time. And because they're comfortable, I actually believe they've improved and helped me in everything that I've done. Just, just living, just basic living. <laughs> See, it warms my heart. I feel like an absolute genius that I've been able to do that. I said to Claire, you go for a one to two week period of getting used to them if you've never worn them. But with Claire, she's a very adaptable person, so she just adapted to the insoles uh, quite quick. And obviously my job for Claire is to get her fit and ready for Wimbledon next year. So that's why we, we did the shockwave, we did the insoles. I'm getting front row tickets to Wimbledon. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Serena, I'm coming for you. She is, she is. So I just want to say thank you for coming down, Claire. It's been no, an absolute... Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you as my patient. We've had a lot of fun, a lot of chit-chat. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Okay, guys. So if you found that video helpful and if anybody you know suffers from ankle pains or has had an ankle injury in the past, please leave your comments in the comment section down below and I will address it in my next video. Okay, guys. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you find our podiatry videos informative, please like and share them with someone who might find them useful. If you need to contact us or find one of our clinics, go ahead and take a screenshot now. To subscribe, you can click this button over here. See you in the next video!